thanks for checking out the video um this one's pretty cool it was a uh, pretty fun event and a lot happened so i'm gonna start off by saying i'm i'm gonna talk through some of this video i'll pop in from the present kind of explain what was going on through certain motos and certain parts of the day other than that it's gonna be kind of like all my other vlogs i'm gonna start off with the day before if you haven't seen that video check it out um pretty cool end up wrapping up two east coast championships good day racing track was fun then we uh we went out to a local place got some really good food had great dinner and uh headed back to the campground in the morning i didn't film any practice because there wasn't much of a point the first couple of motos i had a few close calls just because uh i was wearing my white boots and those boots are pretty shot so if you can see right here the hinge part of it it it's fully just shot it grabs the plastic and and really messes up when you're holding the bike and it would clip it during the whoops and i wouldn't get full range of motion and it's scary <laughs> it wasn't going very good so for the uh for the heats you'll be see you'll see me in the white boots for the mains i was wearing my red boots so that's an easy way to tell them apart and then the other side that didn't have the boot problem uh my rear brake master cylinder was actually wearing through and this was happening the whole weekend but i was more worried about it on this day so you can actually see the o-ring like you'll see in these pictures i had a little bit less pressure so i was i had to be careful of that and then the weekend after i ended up making this cool guard that covers it and i have a new uh, master cylinder on the way so you shouldn't have to worry about that in the future so for sunday's racing they end up picking up the whoops a little bit more so they were a little bit trickier um a few of us had some pretty close calls I have a good crash in them, which you'll see later in the video. But yeah, they were definitely tricky, and with my suspension being so soft, it it was uh, it was really tough. Also, want to point out really quick that the turnout was pretty low for this day. Saturdays was kind of low too, but Sundays was even less because unless you're in the hunt for the title, then it didn't really make much sense racing it unless you just wanted the track time. I believe one or two guys got hurt on Saturday and didn't end up racing Sunday and then a few of them didn't end up racing it due to the points they take your regional score into account so if you're not like first or second then you're at a disadvantage right away luckily i went into sunday with two firsts and a second so that's not bad so i had pretty good chances going into it for the national i believe one of my classes had four guys one of them had three and then one of them it was me being the east coast champion versus the west coast champion it's not like i'm against slow guys but there is definitely a low turnout so yeah, here's the first motos, and uh, I'll check back in after those.
I caught a r at that time in that same jump, and uh, it threw me sideways pretty good. So sketchy. Is, pretty, is that thing pretty heavy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to feel it? <laughs> With the uh, battery makes it heavy, I guess. Yeah. It's, uh, it's 265. 265 pounds. Yeah. It, it's 20 pounds more than most yeah, 450s. It rides really good. Can you take it? Yeah, I'm gonna throw it on here. Oh, okay. Dude, that is. Dude, yeah, that's not. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah, those motos didn't go super good. Um, wasn't really pushing it with those whoops and the boots, and I, I just had a few close calls. And <laughs> some of the classes, it didn't matter if I what I got. Like in the College Boy one, we both went in with a one, and then it doesn't matter who wins the second one because whoever wins the third one has the tiebreaker because the third one matters more. I wasn't gonna push it in that one. Just kind of learn the track and get find the lines. I really wish I was tripling out of both rhythm sections this day, but that suspension just made it too risky. I mean, if if I went long just a hair in each rhythm, it was, uh, it was a real rough landing. So there was no point in me trying it and end up hurting my ankle or something. This is the Moto that mattered the most. So this is College Boy Moto 3. Like I previously mentioned, we went into it both with a one. So he won the West Coast, I won the East Coast. He won the second Moto. But like I said, um, whoever wins the third moto gets the overall, gets the third moto as a tiebreaker. It was pretty much 1v1, whoever wins this moto wins the national championship, which is crazy. Um, <laughs> a lot of pressure. But we were, we were talking this weekend, so we are cool, and we weren't going to kill each other for it. Um, but it's also a rainy cross, so there's going to be some bumping. You know, heart's pounding on my chest on the line. I get a good jump, and I get to the lead. So he, he tried getting under me a couple times and uh, he'd lose a bit of ground, but he'd catch back up. And about a lap and a half in, he gets close to me right before the whoops. I keep going and he kind of has to cut the corner under. He must have hit neutral or something because he nose dives and just picks 
the double before the whoops. And I think he planted his foot. He ended up going down. And seconds later, I'm going through the whoops mock speed because I think he's right behind me. I didn't know he went down. And I end up eating in the whoops. So the two guys on the track are both down at the same time. And I went OTB straight over the bars. I, I end up feeling it pretty good. But I get back up and he's still on the ground, but I'm like, oh fuck, I gotta get going. So I try to get going and my front brake is locked up. It, it's happened before where if the perch moves a certain way, it kind of locks it up. And so I get going and the bike just tips and I'm like, oh no, I just blew it. I just, there's no way I'm gonna get keep going. He's gonna get up, he's gonna finish. And I just lost the championship just because of that. So I ended up slamming that lever as hard as I could to move it back up. And uh, I got it freed up, the bike's all tweaked. I start rolling and I realize he's still down and there's medics on the track there. It was a crazy experience, like I didn't, I was like, oh my God, I hope he's okay. Cause I, wouldn't, I didn't see him move at all from where I was. And then secondly, I'm rolling around the track. I'm like, I guess I'm gonna win it. I don't know if they're gonna red flag it or what. Um, so I ended up rolling the track a few more times and getting it that way. Um, it really sucks it happened that way because we were having good battles some in some of the motos this weekend and i was really h hoping it was going to come down to that and he was he was a really good racer and honestly i don't know if i would have stayed in front of him i wish i was doing those triples because then i would have a better chance but woulda shoulda coulda you, you don't know what was going to happen so um crazy end up happening that way but yeah, feel bad for Nick. He's a really good guy. Um, he ended up breaking his foot during that crash and he ended up having surgery on it. I talked to him afterwards on Instagram. So he's he's doing good. I talked to his mom and girlfriend at the race and just saying, oh, I hope he's gonna do okay. And I didn't know what the problem was at the time. I didn't know if it was his head or what. So it kind of scared me. So there was a little bit of downtime and I was, I was beat up, the bike was beat up. Got through the podium thing solo, which is really weird. Um, but yeah, got the, uh, the AMA number one plate right here, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I wish it was, you know, packed gate and I worked my ass off for it, but I was definitely trying in that race and glad I went to the previous races to get the, uh, the points built up for this. Cause otherwise I don't think that would have happened. So yeah, crazy. I never even thought I would see one of these in person really. Cause I just knew them from Loretta's, but, um, damn, it is cool to have one of these and he won the uh 2021 college boy ama national championship for arena cross so pretty cool to say uh i got it racing him which he's earned it before so out of all the people to race it's pretty cool as him but yeah hopefully i can meet him again in the future and uh maybe we can go ride sometime they were also handing out these trophies too and these are pretty sweet they're pretty legit they're heavy um so these are cool and got the champagne bottles too
After that race, I was pretty all over the place and I didn't really, I was just going to finish out the day. I tried to untweak the bike, but I was still like a little weary of the front brake locking up and I was beat up. So I didn't really, I didn't want to hurt myself or anything anymore. So I just kind of cruised around. Nick was in one of the other classes. So it ended up just being me and another guy for the next one. And he's a bit faster than me. So he just took off and I tried on the start, but what are you going to do? Felt the pressure out there? <laughs> oh, I, I went into the uh, first corner and my brake was still fucked up with the other one and I went down. Oh, I thought I took you. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> no, that was all me. <laughs> and then the last moto, 450B, uh, two really fast kids. One ended up racing Supercross Futures like the next weekend. So they're fast, they just took off. One of them had to crash on that first moto that you saw. So. The way the points worked out, since he was second in the regional championship, I ended up getting second for the overall because of his crash. So that was cool. up with a national championship and two seconds in other ones just like the uh, regional championships in my other video it's crazy that this is the first national championship on an alta or any full-size electric dirt bike or possibly any full-size electric motorcycle i'm not sure about road racing and all that but at least like motocross wise that's it first ama one like it's crazy i don't know it's just an amateur one so it doesn't matter as much as the pros, but to say I have that record is, uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to say. I, I love this arena cross series. These tracks are so much fun. The people there are pretty cool. And I love that they still go to Albany. So there's at least a somewhat local one around. I love racing arena cross way more than like moto really. Um, love the jumps, love the whoops. I just wish there was more of a turnout. I mean, it's the first year that AMA arena cross is back. So that's cool. But I just want more people to check it out and see how cool it is. They put in a lot of work and the schedule goes really smooth and they put on a cool pro night show too. So yeah, hope more people check it out in the future. Um, if everything goes good this year, I think I'm gonna, hopefully I can move up to A and uh, try racing the pro night at Albany later this year, but we'll have to see. So yeah, definitely an amazing trip. Um, like I said, never expected to get one of those plates, but the track was a lot of fun, had some fun racing, pretty cool stories. But yeah, now I got my eyes set on the NMX series, so I'm doing spring and fall. I had to miss the first round for uh, Salem, Virginia Arena Cross, which was a few weeks ago. About a week from now uh, is the second round of spring series at Southwick, so might have another video in between, but not sure. If any of you guys are interested in racing some arena cross, definitely check them out. At least go watch Pro Night. Try racing their Amsterdam Day because they have uh, all the normal classes. They got pit bike classes and yeah, it's just a fun experience. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, stick around and watch my NMX ones and other races I got going on this year. I got a 24 hour race with a team of six people. So that should be pretty cool. Possibly doing Canadian Nationals depending on if I can get a bike and how that all goes. Can have some cool videos going on this year. So. I want to say thanks real quick to Waylon again for uh, helping me get to these races and uh, supporting me throughout the season. If you see me at the races, stop by and uh, I got some stickers to hand out, kind of like these ones. So yeah, come say hi. Thanks for checking out the video and uh, stay tuned for the rest of my racing this year.
See ya.